Hey folks, I hope you're doing well tonight. I'm doing absolutely amazing, all things considered. So this video is going to be a follow-up to a previous video I did on my romantic relations with female entities beyond this realm. So I wanted to talk about this more. And I wanted to talk about why this is so important for the mental, psychological, emotional, and physical well-being of yourself and your life experience in this world and to maximize <clears throat> your life experience as much as possible. <clears throat> so if you contemplate the sex organs of others and the pleasure being directed towards those sex organs in your thoughts, when you see them, as you're looking at pornography of your preferred type, etc. If you think this way about getting yourself pleasure from thinking about others' pleasure, you will have a far more fulfilling life in many degrees greater abundance than you would if you scoff at this or get annoyed by this or disgusted by it or spit at it or have some negative attitude towards these thoughts. Let me be very specific. If you think of gigantic breasts or gigantic butts, gigantic penises and thick bulgy veins, and you feel disgusted or grossed out or scoffing at those things versus contemplating how much you relish the thought of another person experiencing pleasure to those organs. If you scoff at those things and have a negative attitude towards them, you're going to experience an overall really sour negative life experience in terms of your romantic specific health, well-being, and happiness. Okay? You might experience satisfaction and happiness in other areas that aren't directly romantic specific, that aren't directly sexual specific, that aren't directly emotionally really deeply fulfilling in a romantic way. But you're not going to feel romantic specific happiness, satisfaction, and pleasure. Unless when you think about these things and these images and these visuals, you, you experience an orgasmic degree of ecstatic appreciation and pleasure thinking about the pleasure of others. This is the difference between a healthy relationship with pornography and an unhealthy one, actually. A healthy relationship towards sex and romance and an unhealthy one. There's a very toxic trend in many people's psychology nowadays that's super common, where they treat pornographic imagery with this really like love hate relationship, right? It's like a love hate relationship. It's like they'll jack off to the images, but they'll be angry at themselves and hateful and disgusted at the whole thing. The fact that they did it, that's not healthy folks. You shouldn't have a love hate relationship. You should have an only loving relationship with that type of imagery. Same thing towards your physical romantic dynamics with women yourself. You should have that same type of appreciation in contemplating the romantic health and well-being of your friends, of your family, of your romantic partner, physically also. This is exactly the most healthy thing you could ever do in order to soothe your consciousness out of agony pertaining to your own body insecurities, if you have them. Because what happens is you start sharing in the pleasure of others and you start getting pleasure from a different source other than direct penile pleasure only. You start getting sexual pleasure from all sorts of different means <clears throat> and ways. You become far more attuned to this <clears throat> deeper reality, right? It's very healthy to think this way, folks. It's healthy to deeply gorge yourself in contemplating others' pleasure, feeding off the pleasure of others, 
in your thoughts and emotions and feelings. This is the type of therapy that actually needs to be taught to people who are having issues with sexual insecurity and things like that. Because if your focus becomes obsessed with the pleasure of others and getting pleasure from the pleasure of others as what your fixation is, it puts you in a totally new headspace. <clears throat> totally new headspace, folks. Where you don't feel jealous, you don't feel envious. Because how could you? Like, if you're wanting others to experience huge amounts of sexual pleasure, that's literally what you're desiring for them to experience. You want that for them. And you get pleasure thinking about them experiencing that. Boom. You're in the zone. You're going to be getting pleasure and have a very healthy relationship with pornography and your physical sexual relations, both a very healthy relationship with them, folks. It's going to be very soothing to your consciousness and very good for you. And I'm saying this from firsthand experience, right? Very much so saying this from firsthand experience. There is a direct correlation to having a healthy relationship with sex and pornography via this psychology or not via a different psychology. If there's any degree of jealousy or envy in you or disgust in you towards the concept of others experiencing pleasure, even if it's pleasures that may be bizarre or perverse or weird or off the wall, as long as they're consensual and as long as there's actual pleasure being felt, that's what matters. So don't torture yourself by inducing in yourself a love-hate relationship back and forth with pornography, with your masturbation habits, or with your romantic dynamics. Have only a loving relationship for all of them, with no hate aspect involved. Why would you shoot yourself in the foot like that? Why torture yourself? It makes no sense. It's irrational, it's illogical, and it's just going to cause you physiological problems, psychologically and otherwise. You should be genuine about what you actually desire and appreciate. <clears throat> An example from my own consciousness and life is that one video I did, how our internal organs are the demons feeding off of us, right? Our internal organs are literally the demons who feed off us. That image of the Venus of Willendorf, the huge breasts and all that stuff, right? My pecker sticks up straight up into the air, full of blood, looking at that image, looking at that form, which is why I chose that one. And I relish the, the idea of feeding that entity as much sexual pleasure as possible. I relish the idea of a female demoness experiencing huge amounts of sexual pleasure from me. And her breasts and her nerve endings and all of everything about her experiencing pleasure to the extreme, to the max, right? And I, I visualize these things and this is how I think. And what's the result? A great life of abundant, romantic success and well-being and health. I wonder why. It should be pretty obvious why, right? You experience life based on who you feed the most, what aspect of your psychology you feed the most, you know? Which aspect do you fuel the most? You experience that benefit, right? So, in contemplating, like, sex organs, because think about it. The vast majority of male psychology is we're contemplating three things. We're contemplating butts, thighs, breasts, and vaginas, right? And then the rest, of course, obviously the physiology itself. You know, feet, hands, all this. Other. We're contemplating mostly the physiological structure of the female form as the majority of arousal, what arouses us, right? And then the rest of it, of course, is the personality, the emotions, the high voice, all this other type of stuff, right? 
So <clears throat> that being the case, and of course, contemplating the holes and all this other type of stuff, the visual appearance of those and the sensation of those, um, that being the case, it's simply the healthiest thing to do to go very deep into those thoughts and meditations in really deep types of appreciation, not having any negative or aggressive or angry or disgusted thoughts towards them at all. You know, <clears throat> this is the healthy way to go about things, folks. And to each their own, if somebody wants to ignore this and just do their own thing and continue feeling disgusted by it or bothered or annoyed with it or whatever, or grossed out, well, okay, you can keep experiencing whatever life you're already experiencing. Like, you know, I'm not going to be grossed out by things that are factually benevolent, pleasurably benevolent. Why would I? It doesn't make any sense, you know? <clears throat> so... Contemplating pleasure to another person's nervous system and to their sex organs is a very, very uplifting meditative exercise. So when I meditate, what I do is I focus and I hone in on visualizing a person I care about and love, and I visualize their sex organs and their sex organs experiencing massive amounts of pleasure. That's literally what I meditate on, folks. So if you're someone I know and care about and are a friend of mine, that's how I'm visualizing you in my meditations. I am wanting, I'm meditating on these entities flooding your nervous system, every nerve ending within your penis and every single blood vessel and vein flooded with huge amounts of sexual pleasure. This is what my brain is thinking about. This is why I tell people I desire to be a pleasure entity pleasure god, pleasure goddess, pleasure demon, pleasure demoness, etc. An entity of pleasure, an entity that exudes pleasure to others and gives pleasure to others and relishes that, right? This is my aspiration. And I feel like this is what I already am, even before coming into this state. Psychologically and physiologically, right? And I'll never stop thinking like this. I'll, I'll never think otherwise. So when I'm in meditation, I'm not going to be thinking about other things. I'm going to be specifically honing in and visualizing your sex organs and thinking about pleasure being sent to them and flooded to them. That's what I think about. This is the psychology of a pleasure entity, of a pleasure demon, etc. This is how they think. This is how I think. And this is why I think this way. So I hope this makes sense. I hope this psychology I have now makes everything more clear as to why you feel towards me the way you do or not. Knowing that there's someone out here specifically meditating on you experiencing huge amounts of pleasure and concentratedly fixating on that when they think about your former personality. It's a nice feeling, isn't it? It's nice. It's nice knowing that this guy right here is in league with the pleasure goddess herself and pleasure entities who feed off pleasure, contemplating you experiencing huge amounts of pleasure. Because think about how many people actually do that. How many people actually think that way, that specifically and that detailedly about your pleasure, right? Not many, not people, not many people think that way about it. Usually people are just meditating on something else, you know, some other off the wall, vague ass thing. And no wonder they keep coming back into this world, experiencing depression, anxiety, and all this horrible stuff constantly because they're not meditating on pleasuring other sex organs. They're meditating on anything but that. So it's, it's pretty stupid. You know what I mean? Meditating on other things is pretty dumb. Because how do you expect pleasure to yourself if you're not specifically contemplating the pleasure of others in very vivid, specific detail, right? <clears throat> 
So I want people to have amazing orgasms when they jack off to pornography. I do. I want people to keep experiencing that. I want people to feel fulfilled that they're valued sexually and romantically. I want people to fall asleep and have amazing dreams, sexual dreams, where they they are the center of attention in those dreams. That's what I want for you, folks. My audience, my listeners. Whether you're male or female, I want you to have an orgasmic, sexual, romantic life that floods your consciousness during your waking life and when you sleep. And I want that to be perpetuated for you eternally. And no one can convince me otherwise. I have no interest in other activities. I have no interest in being another type of entity or doing other things. I'm interested in being a perpetual pleasure entity, specifically. And ensuring you experience that. That's my desire, my want, and my goal. That in particular. I am your friend when it comes to you experiencing pleasure. Very, very, very much so. I'm your ally in this regards. Your physiology matters. Your sex organs matter. The pleasure that you experience to them matters. It matters to me very personally, in fact. On a very personal level, it matters to me. Those things matter to me on a very personal level. So with that, I hope you feel uplifted, inspired, loved, and appreciated by myself, even if you don't feel that from anyone else in your life. And know that when I am closing my eyes, sleeping, going about my day, when I'm thinking about you, if you've had contact with me or interaction with me or you're my friend or I've talked to you video chat or whatever, this is what I'm thinking about you. This is how I'm thinking about you and towards you. And I hope that helps you sleep better at night. And I hope it helps you feel genuinely loved and appreciated more. Knowing that there's somebody out here who's thinking about you that way. That your sexual pleasure matters to them. In every way. And it's something that I want you to not be ashamed of. I want you to relish what specifically it is you fetishize and desire the most. I want you to relish those things and not deny them to yourself. I want you to have that in abundance. And to go deep internally into your subconscious and conscious. And with that, I wish you sweet dreams. And that you awake refreshed, feeling fueled by this pleasure demon who has your back. I will talk to you soon. Have a good one.